we welcome you to Nace and Beyond here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight a celebration of the Latin culture. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for him. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And, and a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point out. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Ingram in at the three, the small forward. And for Miami, Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Like the way that Valanciunas worked his way to the line on that shot. Never let the defender get comfortable. Pelican shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And that one misses. Looking at the veteran Jonas Valanciunas, Steve, he remains a nightly double-double threat. He's someone that likes to flex his muscle on both ends, Kevin. A big man who uses his size to his advantage and is reliable at cashing in from inside. He hits the second from the line. Year in and year out, Smitty, the Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture, and they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. Now, here's Butler. Here's Adebayo. Sinks that one from the post. Bam plays with such a high motor. Hard to match his intensity. Williamson is screen on Rozier. Williamson outside. Takes it to Ingram. The train. Good, and the assist goes Brandon to Williamson. Ingram. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. First quarter of play, one minute played. Adebayo with the elbow. Jones against Rogier. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. That three off the mark. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Here's Rogier following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Adebayo down low. Guarded by Valanciunas. Adebayo with the bucket. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Here's McCollum. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Adebayo. 20 points for him last game against Philadelphia. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Here's McCollum following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Pass to Williamson. A jump hook, and he can't bank that one in. So Rozier will bring it up for Miami. Trailing by two, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Hey, they, they oh, had their fine. opportunities, but CG let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way First on the road. And you could see them losing confidence, and it turned into a domino effect.
Rozier against McCollum. Butler kicks to Rozier. Just four to shoot. Dickey defender, CJ, all over his man. And it's Rozier missing. Passes it to Jones. And here's McCollum. And another three for New Orleans. McCollum. Three pointer. The Heat trail by five. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Butler with the ball. Now defended by McCollum. Shots good by Butler. I think people forget how strong Jimmy Butler is. Until you defend him, he can get it any way he wants. Now here's Williamson. Playing Brooklyn, he was nearly unstoppable. To the middle, Rozier with the steal. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Okay, take a look now at some numbers for Jones. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. First and three-point field goal percentage. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And not only is he hitting from deep, he's doing it with great consistency. One of our league's most efficient three-point shooters. Pelicans leading by three. McCollum outside. The pass to Williamson. Left block shot on the way. Ingram wide open. A three-pointer no good. For Miami, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Here's Butler and slam dunk by Butler. Give him a lane and Jimmy Butler will exploit it. New Orleans has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on Rozier. McCollum drills the elbow jumper. McCollum's got nine. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, this offense is there. Rozier kicks to Adebayo. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Pass to Highsmith. And here's Adebayo. Hunted by Valanciunas. It's good. Eight points for Bam Adebayo. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum. Takes it inside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Rozier, the pass to Robinson. Inside. Butler, no good. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that Herb one. Jones. And the basket is good. Assist Herb Jones, Jones with great Brandon balance Ingram. on that shot. Loves when he plays inside. Pass to Robinson. Now, here's Adebayo. For Valanciunas, gets it to go. That one good from Otto Bio. Ten points for him. Five of five to start. I think he's in the zone. Ingram outside. Fires the three. Rebound by the Heat. Their last encounter was in New Orleans where they were able to handle the Pelicans. Well, last time out, they got the win in large part because of the play of their bench, and they provided a lot of the scoring points. It's not unusual these days. Teams are more than willing to go deep into that bench to find answers for certain matches. Using his athleticism there, Bam Adebayo knows when to go get an alley-oop. Alan Junis with a screen on Rozier. McCollum, no good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. To the paint, here's Adebayo. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. Completely on his game. Hasn't missed a shot all night. A big part of why this team is winning. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. T-shirt! 
So it's Peter both teams Peter making Peter substitutions here. And let's see the leading three-point teams in the NBA. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. No doubt, they have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. Now, Alvarado. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Down low, Williamson kicks to Hawkins. And again, no good by New Orleans. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him now. Here's Hawkins. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Five on the clock. Outside Robinson. Three-pointer. Knocks down the three ball. And now a four-point heat lead. You have to run Robinson off his shots or he will light you up. Now here's Ingram. Defense is right there. Pass to Alvarado. Here is Hawkins. Screen by Valanciunas. Hawkins shot good. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Alvarado with the steal. Hawkins kicks to Ingram. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. There's the three. It's Autobio with the rebound. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. And recently, Smitty, we've seen Bam Adebayo step it up on the offensive end. Greg is always excited to see a great player take it to another level. He's obviously even more comfortable than ever attacking the hoop. Here he's the long-range jumper. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. To the inside, Hawkins takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. So the wing on the left. The pass to Rozier. No good on the triple. New Orleans has gone 3-7 from three-point range in the first quarter. Williamson finds Alvarado. And here's Valanciunas. Pass to Hawkins. Over Robinson. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins has got his third basket of the night right there. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. First free throw is good. Here we are, Smitty, right smack dab in the dog days of the season. How are the bodies feeling, you think, at this stage of the schedule? Kevin, if they tell you everyone's 100% healthy, that's just not true. Avoiding major injuries is huge for a team. But all players deal with aches and pains throughout the course of the season. And he can't hit the second. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rozier gets better. You see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. McCollum, no good. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. Right outside. Good ball movement here by Miami. Adebayo with a screen on McCollum. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And again, it's the Heat missing. It's Hawkins on the wing. He's guarded by Adebayo. Kicks to Nance. 
Ingram passes to McCollum. Over right. McCollum, no good. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. Gets one to fall, Defensive but only a foul. second make Train in the first seven attempts. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Heat. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. And they've also been effective from beyond the arc tonight. And if that continues, guys, it can really open up the rest of their offense. Steve, we've talked about this. A great job by the Pelicans front office in surrounding Zion Williamson with talent. Yes, Kevin. When he's healthy, they're one of the best teams in the league. But to go the distance, he has to be available. Now here's McCollum. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Here's Miami now. They're on a 17-7 run. Hawkins, the pass to Butler. There's 38 seconds left in the first. Here's Autobio. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists tonight. The emergence of Autobio as a score. This franchise has to be ecstatic. Rozier against McCollum. Nance sets a screen for McCollum. And Autobio sends it back. The reach of Bam Adebayo is off the charts. Using it well with that block. Here's McCollum. Jacks up a three. Buries it from three-point range. McCollum's got 14. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. And that concludes the first quarter of play. He lead by four. Back shortly live from Miami Arena. Second quarter and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. The Heat leading by four. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum out there with Hawkins. Then there's Trey Murphy. And it's Nance. And it's Marshall in at the four-shot. Now here is Martin. He's coming off a 13-point game against Philadelphia. And he wrecked havoc on defense with four steals for the game. Pelicans trail by four. The dish to McCollum. Hands a screen on right. Here's McCollum. And Wright pulls it down. Down low. Here's Martin. And finished off by Martin. Love watching these guys take flight. Caleb Martin is no exception. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Jovic. And uh, Miami shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Owens. David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room and coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. The first one falls. So when we're talking about team identities, 
Uh, great. what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place, and that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. The Pelicans making a switch here. Jones has checked in. And so Wright nails both of them. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, G.A., how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. A three-pointer opens up so many options for Jimmy Butler. McCollum kicks to Marshall. To McCollum kicks it out to Jones. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Jones has got five points so far. Beautiful ball movement. Draw and kick. The defense can't catch up. Right against McCollum. Right dishes to Butler. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. the three and Jones sends it back. Jones is an energy guy. He can give them a spark at either end. The three and it's Miami with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. I I'd love to see them impose Shit. themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Here's Marshall. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Jovic. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Oh, great ball move there. Pelicans trail by 13. And here's McCullough. He's got 14 to the middle. Here's Jones. Softly drops in the floater. Jones has got five points now this quarter. That's how you share the wealth. CJ sets up his teammate with a sweet pass. Right down low. He is guarded by McCollum. Jones against Butler. Here's Jovic. Banked in off the glass. Jovic has got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Butler from outside. Doesn't go that time. Pelicans trail by 13. To Marshall. Passes it to Nance. A three from McCollum. A shot's good on the assist by Nance. McCollum's got 17. This demonstrates how confident CJ is, wasting no time and firing away. Butler against Jones. Shots good by Butler. 11 points in the game. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Marshall passes to McCollum. Inside. Outside, Jones. Nance sets a screen for Jones. Goes up at the stripe. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Not where Jones wants to shoot from, but he stayed cool and made it work. Now here's Butler. 11 points in the game. Pulls up on the elbow. Butler missing again. Pelicans trail by 10. Marshall with it. Butler covering. Jones with the screen on Martin. Here's McCollum. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. 
What balance from the crafty veteran C.J. McCollum is experienced at scoring despite getting fouled. And well, Smitty, you think about the years McCollum played with Damian Lillard. You have to believe they made each other better. I totally agree, G.A. They both have high standards, always working on their games. That's why they're two of the best guards in the league over the last decade. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Zion Williamson's checked What's in up? for Nance. And it's Ingram in for Trey Murphy. They throw good. McCollum led the league in percentage from the line a few years ago. C.J. McCollum dialed in. And the pass to Highsmith. Butler is screen on Williamson. Loads it up for Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. Love the eye contact by Jimmy Butler and his teammate before he rolls up that alley-oop. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's Williamson, top of the key. Back to Jones. Marshall with it. No scoring in this one. Now here's Butler. Rozier looking around. Outside Robinson from the arc. And it's Ingram with the rebound. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And that comes off the assist Ingram. by Jones. Assisted. Ingram's got five. What focus on the shot from Ingram. Shrugging off the defense. Butler on the way. Shot from a low block. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Pelicans trail by seven. Outside, Jones. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Rozier against McCollum. Pass to Jones. Shot from 12. Rebound by the Heat. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Pass to Highsmith. Now Butler. 13 points in the game. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Brandon and you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Heat have shot 80% for the line tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. He's off on the first. The Heat making a switch here. Adebayo's checked in. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Hawkins checked in for Najee Marshall. Good on the second free throw. Pelicans trail by eight. McCollum looking it over. He kicks to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from deep. From past the arc. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by McCollum. Ingram's got his third bucket of the night. That's a tough shot motion to contest. Ingram brings the ball back above his head and has a high release point. Now, here's Rogier. 20 points for him last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. And how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And on the season, 
you know, only shooting around 73%, so not necessarily where he'd like to be. Zeller is checked in for C.J. McCollum. One. Pelicans trail by eight. Here is Hawkins. He has seven. Jones, the pass to Williamson. Out to Ingram from outside the arc. No good. The Heat have gone eight of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Rogier for three. Sinks the triple. Rogier's got 11. And over the course of his career, Rogier has really improved his three point numbers. That, that off season work on the jumper has paid off big time. Now here's Williamson. Hasn't made one yet. And here is Rozier. Robinson passes to Hawkins. Rozier against Hawkins. Let's the three fly. And again, Miami with the triple. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Williamson, the pass to Ingram. Williamson kicks to Ingram. Zeller setting the pick for Williamson. To the paint. It's stolen by Adebayo. Passes to Hawkins. Robinson with it. The pass to Highsmith. Now Adebayo. He's covered by Zeller. On the wing, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. This is how you win possessions. Bam out of bio, fighting through the foul. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And so far this season, shooting at a 75% clip from the line. And Miami making a change here. Butler's checked in. Valentinus is checked in for New Orleans. McCollum comes in for Hawkins. And that one misses. This game is defined by heart and hustle. Bam Adebayo would be walking by any coach on any team in any league. Now here's Ingram. 11 points for him in that last game against Brooklyn. Right on the bucket. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Rozier against McCullough. Pass to Robinson. Here's Heisman. Butler from outside. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Ingram outside. Dishes it to Valanciunas. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second. Love the aggression that Valentino showed there. He walked up the contact inside Shooting to get to the line. He's made one and this one so far in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. I love the toughness from Jonas Valanciunas, and he is lighting it up tonight. And the second free throw, good. Here's Miami now. They're on an 11 to 3 run. Rogier kicks to Adebayo. Wow, that makes him a perfect 10 for 10. Double digit perfection. What ball control from Bam Adebayo. He's so confident attacking in the defense. It's Ingram on the wing. Defended by Butler. 
tries from seven. And it's Ingram missing. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Butler deciding where to go with it. Outside Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his sixth assist on the night. And we've seen Butler develop his passing game over the years. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Williams in with a screen for Ingram. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Rozier against McCollum. Rozier with the ball. 14 points for him. Adebayo with a screen on McCollum. Here's Butler with one on the clock. Not giving the shooter a clean look. Ingram's lint is a problem. And so it's the Miami Heat in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. They'll be away from home for a while, away from their families. Silver lining is sometimes that helps guys grow together as a family. Like we have here in the studio. Sort of. Kind of. A little. I love you. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Miami Heat. I mean, my goodness. The defense is giving them any shot they want. I mean, there's absolutely no resistance. And they're scoring at will. This is terrible. Yeah, the intimidation factor definitely one-sided. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. One more five fans. And with the second half of us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Bam out of bio in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient, and it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four. So that's who Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. Allen Jr. trying to free himself up. And there's the basket. Duncan Whistle Robinson. blows and a chance for a three-point play team going team to the line for one. Team First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. For the Pelicans, Herbert Jones, one. That one falls for Jones. A high second round pick. Herb Jones has done a nice job turning himself into a rotational piece. Ingram against Butler. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. With the drive. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. 
have to switch on that play. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Bam out of Bayou. New Orleans shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And so he hits both. Miami leading by 13. Pass to Butler. Here's Adebayo. Guarded by Valanciunas. Adebayo against Valanciunas. Adebayo kicks to Rozier. Pocket six. The three. Valanciunas grabs the board. Valanciunas has got four rebounds in this game. Butler against Ingram. McCollum outside. Back to Ingram. It's McCollum on the wing. Rogier defending. Here's Ingram. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. 14 points for Brandon Ingram. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Jimmy Butler. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games. And he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. Now here's Ingram. 14 points for him. Jones. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Butler against Ingram. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. On target from 13 feet. Butler's got 17 now. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Here's McCollum. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Six on the shot clock. Alan Judas with a screen on Rozier. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. They get it back. And the dunk by Alan Judas. The persistence of Valanchun is paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. And just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's McCollum following the basket by Bam Adebayo. McCollum against Rogier. Pulls from the top of the key. And with that, the Heat lead is cut to just nine on the basket from McCollum. When McCollum is putting it all together on offense, it is fun to watch. Born score. Three-pointer, Butler. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. And that game will be game three of five away from home. Ingram passes to Williamson. Now here's Jones. Back to Williamson. From downtown. And they'll get another chance. With one on the clock. And the dunk by Valanciunas. So Rozier will bring it up for the Heat. Seven point differential. And McCollum with the block. He 
It's Ingram on the wing. Over Butler. And that one hits back iron. Miami leading by seven. Outside for Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. When you look at the three-point numbers from Duncan Robinson, they will show you he is an elite player from deep. Here's Ingram. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And you can't ignore their passing. All game long, they've done a great job of just delivering the ball in rhythm right where it needs to be. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Miami's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Timeout. And the first Ball time the out of the game called for the Heat. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. As we approach the playoffs, let's now take a look at what is shaping up in the West. Taking a look at New Orleans. If the playoffs started today, they'd hold the number five seed. Of course, they're looking to build on that. And I think for New Orleans, this season has been, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. Now here's Butler. 17 points in the game. Passes it to Autobahn. Over Valanciunas. Nice team from Valanciunas. Pelicans trail by seven. Ingram finds McCollum. A shot off that time. Some solid defense from Rozier. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades past. So would I. He says that would suit his game, though. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first, who's going to quit first. That's the style of basketball I like to play. Kevin? Uh, yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. Now here's McCullough following the miss by Bam Adebayo. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Jones. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Adebayo down low. Alan Junis is there. Adebayo with the bucket. For his career, Bam shooting a high percentage from the field because he typically takes good shots. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. Over Adebayo. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got seven now in this quarter. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. McCollum gets to Valanciunas. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. McCollum against Rogier. Jones. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. Putting together some kind of night. Jones doing it all. The Heat leading by five. The pass to Autobahn. Pelicans pull it in. Alan Junis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Ingram dishes to Alan Junis. McCollum kicks to Alan Junis. Pass to Jones. Just five on the clock. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. Zion and that Williamson. comes off the assist by Jones. The offensive game of Zion continues to evolve. Love watching him nail it off the catch. Caballo down low. Guarded by Alan Junis. Nifty move. And that's two points on the way. Ice has got a 
second bucket of the night. Well, that's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Oh, now a timeout called by New Orleans. You know what time it is, you say. Make some noise for your heat with your dance crew. And a moment now to check out the numbers for Valanciunas. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And you mentioned how powerful he is on the boards, going full throttle at both ends every play. Really helping his team compete for wins. Now here's McCullum. Misses off the right iron. Robinson goes in. The kick out to Rogier. Back to Robinson. Pass to Autobahn. Shot left block, and it's Miami with another. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Williams in with a screen from McCollum. Ingram up top. McCollum against Rogier. Jones for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got his seventh assist in the game. Passes it to Hawkes. Valanciunas against Adebayo. Martin for three. And the Heat, another three. Caleb Martin being competitive. Matching threes. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. Go into the rack with energy. In the D. Afraid to cut it off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. Autobio with a screen on Jones. Robinson passes to Autobio. Rolling off the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. Pelicans trail by six. Ingram left side. It's McCollum on the wing. Williamson looking it over. Now here's Ingram. He's got 19. Over Martin. Again, the Pelicans score. Ingram. You see how Ingram's polished his game, looking smooth from the mid-range. Rozier against McCollum. Rozier, the pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. These are the fundamentals we're always Sorry. talking about. Excellent bounce pass. Timeout. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Checked in, and it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Duncan Robinson. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Williamson. Trey Murphy's checked in for Ingram. And Hawkins subbed in for Jones. Butler against Hawkins. For three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And he's good on the first of three. And the Pelicans making a change here. Jones has checked in. And he's good on the second.
and he can't make it. Three for three. Well, he leading by four. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Butler with the ball. He's picked up by Nance. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Nance's screen on right. And the basket by McCollum. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for the Heat. To the inside. And finished off by Martin. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. With some arc. And Wright pulls it down. Inside. Here's Jovic. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Nance. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. The Heat have gone six of nine at the line. Personal foul. First team foul. One. Jovic. Just shows you that anything can happen in this game. Guys, bang it done for the Miami Heat. With the points he racked up that quarter, he has broken his season high scoring mark already. We've got more in store for you right after this. Now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. You know what time it is. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for New Orleans right now, Defensive sharing the wing spots, DeLon it's Jones and Ingram. First Trey Murphy ball. is out there with First Larry Nance, ball. and it's Hawkins in at the point. At the line for the Pelicans, Hawkins, one. One falls and that puts him up by one point. Here's Wright. The pass to Jovich. Jones against Butler. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Nance has got his fifth rebound in this one. up top from 15 feet away again the Pelicans score hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that White the pass to Hawkins Martin with a screen on Ingram here's Hawkins he's covered by Ingram just five to shoot in the corner, right with it. A three-pointer off the mark. Pelicans leading by three. Down low. And the powerful one-handed slam. There's Murphy attacking the rim. He's a three-level score. 
It's stolen by Jones. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. He dishes it to Ingram. Pass to Jones. Hands a screen on Butler. Shot clock at six. And then slaps it in. Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide open look. Now a timeout called Time by Miami. Call for the heat. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Come look on, for them Let's to come, come out much more aggressive. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Eric Spolster coaching the team during the break. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Inside, out to Ingram. Pass to Jones. Over Butler. Jones, no luck. The Heat trail by seven. To the middle. Here's Martin. And finished off by Martin. And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curves a 10 0 run by the Pelicans. Takes the three. Drills it from outside. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And here are the Heat now, and the Pelicans pick up three with their last shot. It goes out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Martin. And the Heat making a change here. Highsmith is checked in. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Here are the Pelicans with the ball. They've got a 13-2 run goal. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Shoots from the baseline. And the Pelicans miss again. Miami trailing. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Shots good from Butler. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half, now has his second. Now Ingram. Valanciunas inside. Working on Martin. Valanciunas, good. That's where Valanciunas is a handful. Inside and on the block. Right, the pass to Highsmith. Kicks to Martin. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Butler. Again, the Heat. Good for two. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Now here's Ingram. Shot clock at five. Tries from seven. Again, the Pelican score. Keeping the feet moving and found an opening. Murphy doing work in close. Jones against Butler. Over Jones. It's good in the New Orleans. He's cut down now to just five on the basket from Butler. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Now here's Jones. Trying to find Dallin Junis. It's to him. Here's the three. That shot missing. But he would have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. It's right on the wing. Now the dish to Martin. From deep. And again, Miami with the triple. Pretty comfortable from range. Martin puts a confident stroke on it. So we'll 
teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. And here's Valanciunas. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. The lead is two. Valanciunas with a screen on Buck. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And one difference Second this half five. is that when they get to the line, that they're line converting. The and guys, let's get your take Valanciunas. on the scoring breakdown so far Two. for the Pelicans. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And tonight we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this D. And he knocks down the first one. Junis hits them both. Here's Rogier. Dishes it to Butler. To the inside. Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Showing off the dynamic athleticism. Bam is no stranger to rocking the rim. McCollum against Rogier. Now here's Ingram. He's guarded closer. Five to shoot. Rogier against Ingram. And Rogier, here we go. The shot by Adebayo, no good. You know, and after fighting to get back into it, that was the chance there to tie it up. Ever so close. Needed that one to go down. And the basket by McCollum. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Adebayo with a screen on Ingram. While their pass to Adebayo. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Passes to Hawkins. to the paint. Here's Williamson, and it's New Orleans scoring again. No one can stop Zion inside. He's a physical force. Rozier kicks to Robinson. Inside, Butler. Tries again. Count it, and the foul. It goes on Brandon Ingram. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. Kayla Martin's checked in for Miami. And New Orleans also making a change. Jones is checked in. First team foul. Now at the line, Jimmy Butler. One. And for Jimmy Butler, he's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs him. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. That one court is your hunt squad. Get loud and... Williamson finds Dallin Junis. Ingram up top, defended by Butler. And he gets it to go. Brandon Ingram. Ingram's got 25 points in the game. He's on a roll. Brandon Ingram believes he's one of the best scorers in this league, and he is showing it tonight. Here's Butler. And he makes the eight-footer. Yeah. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. 
Here's McCollum. And it's Miami with the rebound. Here's Rozier. Oh, and that one, no question. He poured it down. How about that? Flying high to send that one down. And you know what? When you've got the athleticism and explosion of a player like that, bigger guys are still at your mercy. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here are the Pelicans now after the Heat pick up two. McCollum dishes to Williamson. Back to McCollum. Lock at six. In the corner, it's Valanchunas. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. McCollum, no good. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Robinson for three. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got five rebounds tonight. He kicks it to Ingram. No good that time. Some solid defense from Butler. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. They trail by one. Rozier with the ball. Now defended by McCullough. Valanciunas against Adebayo to take the lead. And the rejection by Valanciunas. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Butler. A miss that time. Would have put him up. New Orleans gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Back to Jones. McCollum outside. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got five assists tonight. This is why C.J. McCollum is seen as a leader. Truly a big shot. Now, and here's Rozier. That shot wide open. Rozier's got five points now this quarter. Now, a great sign of how confident Rozier is. He wants to be the leader, and you need your leader to come through with buckets like that. Ingram against Butler. Eight feet away. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Butler with the ball, now defended by McCullough. And Butler gets it to go. Me. Butler's got 31. Defense, what defense? Jimmy Butler was determined to knock that one down. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. Over Butler. And it's Ingram missing. Miami's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here on the fourth. Here's on Yes! Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. I'm out cold here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by three. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Sensational bucket to bring them within one. Experience paying off right here. CJ is outstanding. Butler against Ingram. Ogier for three. Connects from downtown. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there. Time and time again. You can count on him. Ingram has accepted the responsibility of being the man. And they go to the intentional foul. Second team foul. Second team foul.
24 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Now at the line, Jimmy Butler. free throw is good and that makes it a three-point lead and someone who welcomes big spots jimmy butler loves that he's at the line so he goes two for two at the line and it's a four-point ball game tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall now a timeout called by new orleans they're trailing by four we've got 22 seconds left in the game Okay, fans, time to get on your feet and make some noise for your Miami Heat dancers. Okay, Heat fans, show some love for your Heat dancers. Alan Judas with a screen on Butler. Ingram against Butler. There's the triple. Up again. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. He's shown he can get it done in the big moments. JV delivering in the clutch. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Terry Rogier, the third. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And I love those years' aggressive attitude. Not someone you want to foul in these moments. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Williamson kicks to McCullough. Money! And that shot brings them to within just one. Hasn't seen a three he doesn't like. CJ takes a ton of them. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're in front by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here come the new dancers, everybody. Let's get live. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. New Orleans foul. Brandon Ingram. Third person of foul. Penalty. Now at the line, Jimmy Butler. Two. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. A great competitor. Jimmy Butler is exactly who they want at the line. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? Thank you for coming out. Chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Stay by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jimmy, another home win. And I know it's important to make this a tough place for people to come in and steal a win. Yeah, uh, we don't want anybody to want to come here and play against us. We don't want anybody to want to play against us on the road either. Um, but I definitely think uh, the best thing we can do is win all the home games. Yeah, you guys are protecting the fort, man. Thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Bam Adebayo.